Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the United States. Welcome to my channel everybody. So I am currently working on my Paper Pumpkin Alternatives for October 2024 kit called Nest of Nature. This is Paper Pumpkin video, alternative video number 13. This will be my last one until this evening as I need to run to downtown to the library to the grocery store <laughs> a few errands and then go pick up Hank um which my husband's doing the football duty tonight yay so anyways the kit is called nest of nature October 2024 you got to make 10 cards this time but only two designs and they are trifold so on the back is a QR code that'll lead you to a video to show you how to put the cards together as they were designed um, this one will lead you to how to purchase a set of three dies that coordinates with October November and December's over here is a visual of everything in the kit and then the list of coordinating colors videos one through five I show you everything that comes in the kit so here are a look at the stamp sets the speckles the Evergreen Branch, the Cardinal, Mary, and Christmas are two separate. The little salmon berries or berries, whatever you, they look like, salmon eggs to me. Happy holidays. Joyful thoughts to you this season. Let's get on with it. So <clears throat> we are not bringing in any extra um, stamp sets, but I am bringing in the deckled circle dies. Now these are on the online store. They're an online exclusive. Absolutely love them. Um, <coughs> they, there are so many circles. I mean, look at them. They're just fabulous, right? So I used number six counting from the inside out. So I'm going to put these. And if you noticed, I do, you know, that piece of, uh, thick, uh, paper, whatever you want to call it. Um, that your dies come onto. I glue my magnetic sheets to that, right? And then I glue this sheet that I tear off the back and then I glue this, adhere that to it. And this makes it so it's not so flimsy. And then when you store this, you store this side to the back, right? So when you store it to the back, then when you go to close this, you're not digging into your dies. Guys, it took me forever to figure that one out. Don't know why it took me that long. So let me get my book and we'll take a look at what we have. Video number 13 is right here. So we have, we're going to be cutting into an envelope, but we're using an envelope. As, oh, that's the one we're cutting into, right? So we're using an envelope as an envelope. We have a card base, five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. We have layer number one. This is from one third of a card base in shaded spruce. We have the foil piece right here, right? One third card base, foil branches, die cut with the cent die cut the center out with number six die from the center of the deckled circle dies. We have the cardinal from the kit. So here's my circle, which we don't need that no more. It can go over there. Now here is the large branch and I did do some fussy cutting. I simply cut this out at the center because I'm going to maneuver it in another position. Now from the bow dies, these are retired. Thank you, Leslie, because I didn't know what they were called. I took this one and I cut it apart in three and we are going to use it as well. And I have a sentiment strip and some real red ribbon. Now I'm going to tell you this real red ribbon just needs to get cut in half. Because it's just not big enough. And that's it. Let me make sure. Yep. All right. So move my notebook over there. So I might need to do a little extra trimming on this piece. This piece is good to go. 
go. All right, that's my envelope. We don't need to do absolutely anything on it. This piece is good to go. This gets glued directly down onto the card base. Now it's just going to take me all night, probably, <laughs> to get all these videos uploaded. And then I just, hopefully I don't like put the wrong one <laughs> in our picture with the wrong video. There is danger when you do too many at a time, or there is for me anyways. So once I get all these, see, check which way it opens, right? Keep it going the right way. We're just repositioning where these pieces were. This was on the back side. Now this piece, you're going to see, because I had to cut the score lines out of both sides. So we're going to trim this down ever so much. <clears throat> I'm not going to have the measurement of it being trimmed down because I am just going to trim it. So we should probably get it to like four, four and an eight, and then it should be five and three eighths. So I'm going to do a 16 pair there and then turn it this way. If I can remember, I'll put the measurements in there. It should be at five and three eighths. And then it should be pretty well centered. Thank you, Carol, again. Because, oh, do I love that. And I'm going to put it this way now. If I did it right, we're going to have a little shaded spruce border around the edge. And we're going to simply, you could make this... Oh, we could make put it on dimensionals and have that would be nice. <clears throat> and guys, I don't want to put like heavy dimensionals on because I wanted to put some of this on dimensionals. So yes, I'm digging into my. Um, all right, let's just take some little strips. We're just gonna put some strips on it because I just want to pop it up a little bit. I don't want it like thick with dimensionals because I wanted to put a few of these things on it with dimensionals so I don't want it to be overwhelmed with dimensionals I thought these were the thick ones, but I must have dropped the thick ones in there. Because I had a little baggy full. Maybe they're in with the thick pieces. Because these are regular whisper. Well, they're not whisper white anymore. It used to be called whisper white. My goodness, guys, no, I have plenty of scraps. We're going to do two pieces. There. Can you imagine putting dimension dimensionals all over the back of this? No. No, 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 no. <clears throat> this side seems to have more room. All right. 
Now we're going to glue this like so. And I do like that. I do like it bumped up just that little bit. Still opening the right way. All right. <clears throat> Next, we're going to stamp. Merry Christmas. Now, you could do Happy Holidays. I am going to choose my Merry Christmas from October 2020. If I can find it, it's got to be in here, right? There's that Merry Christmas, but that's not the one I want. No, no. Oh, it's over there. We're going to go with real red here. I'm looking for the coaster next, but I can't find that either. But I think we're going to be good to go. And the reason why this Merry Christmas is because it's capital and it fits really nicely in this. Oh, no, it doesn't. Look at that. It is too big. So guess what? We're not going to use that one. We're going to have to go with Happy Holidays, though it's not really what I would have liked. All right, so Happy Holidays it is. There we go. And then we're going to stamp on the inside. I lost my coaster. I see it. It's under the whiteboard because that's bugging me. All right. Um, joyful thoughts to you this season. And then we're going to stamp that Merry Christmas because I inked it up. We're going to have to ink it up again, but because it's up there. Big old Merry Christmas. And then we're going to add some shaded spruce in here. No berries. No salmon eggs. So, oh, let's try to ink the entire thing up. There we go. That is ready for that. Now we're going to do some little bit of fussy cutting here. So we're going to get the guillotine out and cut open the envelope. This is probably the only envelope I'm going to do this to. I tend to, I have been using the envelopes as envelopes, which is really surprising. But hey, <clears throat> there's always... <laughs> There's always an off time, right? So I want to cut off my envelope flap. The problem with these envelopes is it has this great foil, but I can't, um, the white isn't gonna go anywhere. The white part of it's gonna go in my scrap bin. I'm gonna be using it. It's just that I think it's a waste of an envelope for me to cut it up just to Get this little bit but for this card I'm gonna do it why because I can and I want to it's just I was looking at how close you really have to be so this is going in my scrap bin and what I want to do is I want to cut this here so I have this to go in my scrap bin and this is what I'm after I just need a little bit more for our bird. So we're going to go ahead and fussy cut 
these out. I just need a little bit more to fill in. behind the bird and what I'm doing here. So now this, I'm going to cut that off. This is going in the scrap bin. <coughs> so now I have all of this that can go up in here. Where's my happy holidays? Let's try not to do it upside down. Here we go. Happy Holidays is going here. There's one, two, and three. So I know that this piece is going to go over here. And this, I know, is going to go up on dimensionals. Just need to find them. And we are going to start it off like about here. We're just going to start there because I'm going to be tucking things underneath it. So I don't want to get um, too, too crazy there. So let's start there. that let me see we need to bring it down a little or cut it off and make it work for us my cardinal's gonna go i think i had him tucked if i'm not mistaken i had him tucked kind of like this <clears throat> this piece is going to come in the back. See how that's going to extend all of that up in there? It just needs it. Trust me, it does. This piece really needs to be like, I don't know whether to bring it like down here, but I can do without that. I wonder if I even need this now. We could go like that and just tuck in a little bit of those branches. Let's cut these down. Take less of them. don't have any more die cut so we're gonna have to use what we have And our little bits of ribbon are going to stick out there. Or do I tuck some ribbon? No, I don't like that. We're going to definitely tuck it behind here. So let's get that done. And if you're wondering what happened to the tear tape that came with um, <clears throat> the kit. Um, let's put it this way. Moby Dick has the tear tape. <laughs> yes. Moby Dick diorama.
the diorama had the tear tape. It worked perfectly for that. So we want it to be up. That's going to work. Now to get this the rest of the way in there, right? So this is going to go... Hmm, let's tuck this one in with some glue. This one's going to get tucked in with glue. <clears throat> We're going to put a dimensional right there for the cardinal. I don't want to do too much, but I want to tuck the tail like this right there so I get it right where I was gonna going to put him this piece right in there And this piece, this is from the envelope. And we just tuck that right there. And then we're going to pop this on dimensionals. And it wasn't that difficult. And I like it like right there. And yes, we are going to put bling on this. <clears throat> so let's find the bling, right? Now, part of me, I'm looking at these, right? So this is what my eye is immediately drawn to. However, however... We have little snowflakes, which I'm already going to say no, no, no. Um, I, those are off. See, I kind of want to go with the white. But I'm thinking these are going to be... I know I have half back white pearls, but I'm thinking... See how though? Oh, this is not glued in. I put glue on it. I can see the glue. I don't think I pushed it down. Now it's on there. Because I just don't see... I mean, I could, oh, 
do we do do the red do we do red sparkles or just red I don't know against the blue it it makes it too dark it just makes it dark you know what I know I have give me a second I have to move Zed's note for his appointment <clears throat> We have these pure white ones, and I think it will brighten it up. These are the basic matte dots. These are from Miss Kathy. And I'm really thinking, so I want to do one here, a large one here, and then Two. I think I want to do one, two, three. So let me do it this way. Let me just pick them up. So I want to do one. See how that white just kind of brightens everything up? So one here. And then one. Oops. Pop that over. One and two. I love that. Yes. It, it, it just, the white, you guys will have to let me know, but I think that white just brightens it all up and ties it together. And we're going to keep our envelope, which we didn't need to even stamp on, right? So move that aside. Here's our card. We're going to wink a Stella. So we're going to use the black because we have to do our little eyelash. Because believe it or not, it does, when it hits the light, you see it. it it's just a little, like, catch of sparkle. It's really cool. Can't remember if I did these yet or oh I can. I can see it now. Maybe not here, but alright. So maybe I just need to do the black and not. Cause I really like the black. Who would have known? Hmm? Eyelashes. That's what it reminds me of. This was eyeliner. I still couldn't put it on because I couldn't see once I take off my glasses. It just would not work out. Okay, we're just going to leave that. So thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you like. I know you almost can't see that there is green back there, but there is because I covered most of it up. But, but it is back there. Joyful thoughts to you this season. Merry Christmas. I hope you all are looking forward to the holidays. I sure am. It is a joyous occasion as always. Um, I just look forward to my daughter takes off a week of work and we just simply kick back and enjoy, um, we just enjoy, we play games, we watch movies and just enjoy being a family. It's really great. So thanks for watching everybody. And if you are not subscribed, I know I say this practically every video, but it means a lot to me. So if you're not subscribed and you enjoy my my videos, please consider subscribing as it does help me out. For those of you who are subscribed, I sincerely thank you so very much and I invite you all to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye bye for now.